Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters on YouTube? Okay, um, Leo Leo One, up in the bucket. You already know it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, my car might be fucked up. Hey, look, I own two of them. I mean, four wheels is better than two hills, you know? Um, but anyway, I just want to say he hello to everybody out on YouTube, all the brothers and sisters, the real ones. Um, everybody who I'm subscribed to, everybody who subscribed to me, y'all know what time it is. All right, um, I had to get a fist up. That, that's always going to happen. <laughs> but you know, brother, having a good day today, you know, not letting nothing come to me, not letting none, none of the negativity come my way. Um, got some point of crosses. I ain't been bothered ever since. And I think um, that's the way I, I like it, and that's the way I'm going to keep it. All right, um, oh, man, these cars and stuff. It's a busy day out there. But I just want to make this um, video kind of short. Um, I just want to say a few things. Is that I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately. And, um... And some of them is, and kind of touches me because some of the stuff I see and I say to myself, I say, damn, this really happens. Now, ever since um, President Obama, he went ahead and, um, you know, passed on the, um, not passed, but he said he's with the um, gay, gay's marriage, gay and lesbian marriage, which I had none to, um, I don't have nothing against. I mean, everybody's equal. I mean... A human supposed to be treated like a human. And every human has the right as a human. Well, sometimes it don't seem like it. Because um, myself as a human and my people of color, especially the people of my complexion or light of my complexion, we don't get treated as humans or we don't have the rights as humans. But like I was saying, though, you know, Homosexuals, gays, lesbians, transgenders, um, cross-dressers, any, any one of them. Bisexuals, like, they have the right. They have, they have the right as a human, you know, to do, you know, what they want, whatever I had nothing against. But, um, I was, um, you know, flicking through some stuff. And, um... You have this, um, it's this one congressman up in, um, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, I can't get that word right. But you know what I'm talking about. His name is Barney Frank. Everybody know who he is. In case they don't know who he is, he's the one, you know, with the glasses. Oh, I'm not, um, President Obama. Yeah, him. It's him. So, once again, a gay person. Even up in the fucking office up in Congress. It's making mockery of this brother Trayvon Martin. Now, see, it ain't been like, even like a few months since his brother been gone. Even a couple months. I mean, you know, time flies. It's been a couple months since his brother has, has passed. And now you got a lot of people out here in this world... You might as well say this world, this country called United States of America, YouTube. Hell, you probably even got like white comedians now sitting up here making fun of this little man. That once again, yeah, lost his life for a racist. Just because of who he is. But... The note, the word that um, Congress, Congressman Barney Frank said was that, oh, now see, you got a, ho a hoodie, you don't have to worry about being shot. Something like that, but it, it was pertaining to something like this. Now, you know what? I don't have nothing, it's like I said, I don't have nothing against gays or lesbians. Because, yes, my uncle was gay. He was killed. But anyway, my uncle, he was gay. And everybody in their family got somebody gay in their family. 
somebody in their family is a crip or blood in their family. Everybody got something in their family that is is a is a like a, a well, I say like a dark cloud or just like a, a X. Not our ex like, you know, brother Malcolm X, nothing like that, but an aunt or ex like that. We all got something dark in our family. That's in everybody's family. But I can't understand the life of me. I've been watching like past YouTube videos of gays, gay people making mockery, making fun of, of people of my color. Now, last time I recall was gay people are the ones or were outcasts just like we was. But see, the thing was that we were, uh, as a people, we went through more than what gays and lesbians ever went through, what any gay ever went through. Segregation, attacks, murders, lynchings, falsely arrests, Prison time on trumped up charges. And how and why? It's because of people of us and as our color are trying to look out for each other. Trying to look out for other people. Trying to live in peace and harmony. That 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 we that we really couldn't live in peace and harmony. Because of who who we were, who our skin color was. Our hair color textures, things like that in general. And still today, we still being treated that way. Excuse me, we cannot go in stores uh, without being looked at, being followed around. We can't drive, um, we can't walk through neighborhoods without being stopped being questioned again being stared at we are people we can't we can't we can't live like that at least gays can go out and they still be accepted who they is they hardly don't get discriminated they, they can go in stores without getting followed they can go to neighborhoods and walk peacefully without being stopped or being questioned Guys can do any goddamn thing they want. Gays on top of a pedestal. We still down there. Gays, lesbians, immigration, legal immigrants, all of them can do what they want. They got rights. They get accepted. Get college intuitions and all shit like that 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 we that we can't even can't even get a, a fingerprint on. Gays can go in jobs and, and 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 get a job snap of a fucking finger. Well, we can't. We can't do that. We can go somewhere, be groomed, nice dressing, and still would get turned down. Why? Because of who we are. This shit that's going on right now what, that we getting fucked with, getting picked on, is not going to die. No time soon at all. You got gays now? The one was outcast? Now they, now they fucking with us? But still, and yet, when when you and your little little get together, you're gathering around your 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 your, your protests and shit like this. Who do you want? Who you want to come to help you? You come to us. You bring up our civil our civil rights leaders. You bring up our political party leaders. We don't bring you people up. When we go, when we have our little riots and shit, we don't call on gays and lesbians. We don't call on legal, we don't call on nobody. Because we all know this is our fight. But still and yet, when you, when you, when you motherfuckers have a fight, y'all call on us. Now, this might be a boring video. I don't give a goddamn right now. Go on to another channel. Go watch another video. You got my fucking guess. 
But I'm sick and tired of people keep fucking with us. Gays and lesbians, you got this gay congressman? This motherfucker on top of the fucking, he in the top office. Making fun of this little brother. He supposed to be a Democrat. So we got to watch out for something like this now? Brothers and sisters, um... I don't, mean, I don't know how many times. So I got to tell you, the rest of some of these brothers and sisters, these great brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters on YouTube, got to tell you people, man, it's only us. It's only us. They going to do what they going to do. They going to be down with them. And, 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 and not just that, they going to be down with other races, other people. Us. We just one band of a fucking people. That's all we is. That's all we is. That's 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 all we is. I hate I hate to do my face like that, you know, but that's just showing a serious side of me. So you people gotta bear with me on this. So yeah, you got Barney Frank now, a gay congressman. Making fun or making mockery of this young brother that was killed by a racist. Think about that, brothers and sisters. That would let y'all know that to those people out here, we ain't shit. They trying to bring this Jim Crow shit back. I can see it. They trying, they trying to bring this shit back. They 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 want us all destroyed. They 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 want us they want us to our knees. They would love to see the chains and shit around our neck, or shackles around our feet and shit. They would they would love to see shit like this. But the way shit going on right now, I hope that this shit don't happen. We can't let it happen. But see, some of this is our fault. Some of this is our fault. Because they took a lot of things and they'd like dangle it. Money, all this old materialistic shit. They were just like dangling it. Like, you know, hypnotizing or teasing us with it. And us people that lived in poverty, I mean, what choices? They did it with welfare. I mean, they did it with everything. And still, and yet, they still threw us under the bus. Yeah. They threw us under the bus like, you know, we're going to give you this, now we're taking it from you. Especially the black man. They, they, they try to make us more weaker than it is. They, se they separate, they're trying to separate us from our own people as it is. If you go, like, in mostly black women's, Women's in welfare, and you got women's living housing projects or public and housing, something like that. They don't want us around. The first thing they do, they will threaten that sister, telling, "Hey, if we, we if we see him there or something like that, we're gonna have to um evict you or deny you from other assistance like that." Which that's sad and that's wrong. But they can't keep a good man down. They can't keep a good man down. And, and it's still happening that way. That's the reason why I'm kind of um, kind of upset with President Obama. Because he let both sides of the um, party, both sides of the wing, punk him. And I remember when President Obama, he got first got in the fucking office... I was saying to myself, I was like, hell, I, sometimes I was wondering, I was thinking that is Obama Republican or something? Because he, 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 the shit he was doing, he was doing the same shit he was doing. Doing the same shit Republicans do. I mean, literally like having Republicans tell him what the fuck to say. If you was that big of a president, you would have told the Republicans, look, man, this is a Democrat is in, part, is in power right now. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. President Obama don't, I mean, 
I want to. I'm still gonna support the brother, but that brother hasn't hasn't did much. Hasn't did none at all. Taking up, take, taking care of other people. Right now, in our community, right now, our schools, the schools, the schools in our in our community, right now, and our, all schools in the black community, it's like falling like a fucking deck of cards right now. It's falling apart. And still, and still, and yet they weren't about black, white kids, white kids getting bullied and shit like this. Throwing Easter egg hunt out for white kids. Shit like that. While some of our little young black brothers and sisters is already heading to a different, different wrong direction. But you gonna sit there and worry about some fucking white suburban kids. That's some fucked up shit. That's not calling a brother to me. I would I call him President. I would call him a President Obama before I call him a brother. Cause you haven't been raised by you haven't been raised by your African people. You've been raised by white people. And then you're gonna tell this shit about our sisters, about feeding our kids Popeye's chicken. These sisters don't feed pop kids Popeye's chicken in the morning. This world is right now is fucked up. It's screwed up. Y'all need to decide um, decide uh, what y'all want to do. Because we're going to have to do something soon. Very soon. If the president can't help us or do nothing like this and you got people in front office making fun of a, of a brother that's been killed by a racist... And then you got a president sup gonna support gay marriage that right now gays don't fucking respect us. They making fun of us now. So gays, but they wanna say that gays are the new black. Gay gays ain't gonna never be the new black. They ain't never gonna go, they ain't gonna never be the new black because they ain't never been through what the fuck we've been through. You can t gays can talk all that shit they want, but you will never, ever, ever be the new black because you ain't never been or seen the experience that we went through. If that was the case, then all of you be suicidal. If any goddamn thing, gays are the new KKK. Every since every every white person that was killed, every white girl been abducted, murder suicides, white teachers having sex with students, all this old crazy stuff. But you never ever seen not me, my people, not black celebrity or anybody made mockery or made fun of those people. What these what these people doing right now is very childish and fucking immature. But Lawrence, I mean Barney Frank, you, you a fucking Fruit Loop to be talking about a little young brother like that, man. I hate to say that, but yeah, I don't even like the I don't even like the word hate. But you was wrong, and you supposed to be gay. A gay man. And I be trying to like wondering what these gays trying to do. Are y'all trying to like build something? Because gays right now they dop kids, and I and, and you know, and I might get a lot of um hate for it or whatever. I don't give a damn. But see, to me, before I leave, before I shut this camera off for my phone, gays to me is fucking up the generation because. Two men's can't can't birth the child. Two women's can't birth the child. So now you get adopt kids, 
And half of the times, these kids gonna grow up confused. Just like a biracial kid, they gonna grow up confused, don't know what the fuck's going on. And half of these kids might entype in that fucking behavior they self. I see it already. I ain't seen it already. Matter of fact, I ain't seen two women, two white women's lesbians, had this unmixed. Um, or this, you know, this because they like to get people of my color. They, especially black people. I don't understand this. But they got one black, little young black sister. She had beautiful long hair. Now her hair is cut short. Like mine's. What the fuck that tell you? And that's another thing that we got to take focus on. Why are so many fucking gays and lesbians adopting all these black kids? Leo, Leo, one, I'm out of here. Think about that, all right? Peace. One love. I'm out of here.